going on, folks? It's been a long freaking minute, huh? What'd you say? Well, I've had uh, a couple times now, I've been asked about how do you, you know, get your car information out of the game if you're NSB editing and you want to add some of the new cars that have been introduced. Uh, sometimes they're not in the dealership, so using, you know, Game Guard or anything like that isn't going to help you. So this is when you definitely want to be editing NSB files. Now, one of the things that you're going to need, we'll get started with that, if you don't already have it, is 7-Zip. Just go ahead, type in 7-Zip in a Google search, whatever your browser is. Go here, download the appropriate one for you, and then we can get started. Now, I'm assuming by this point, you're either running BlueStacks or some other kind of emulator, or maybe you're just transferring the files to your computer with a cable. However the method you choose, the area that we want to go is still the same, which is into your OBB file. So most of the time you're dealing with, you know, the data, Android data, natural motions folder. But in this case, we need to back all the way up to the OBB files, and we're going to pull out that natural motions folder. So again, you can do this with using a file manager or just using a cable right to your computer you can see the folders uh, in the process here Alright, so we got the complete folder now. I'm just going to back up out of there and I'll set this back to where I want to edit my NSB files. Alright, when you go into this folder and you get these two OBB files here. The one that we want to worry, worry about or work on is this patch right here. So we're going to right click on it and if you have 7-Zip installed then this will pop up for you. And you're going to just extract the files and then we'll proceed to the next step. Alright, so it's created this folder for us. We're going to click into that folder, click into the asset bundle, click into the ASTC. These are all the cars in the game. So uh, if you want that new Dutch boy, you know, it's a Chevy. So I'll just start to type in Chev, hit enter. Now this is all the Chevys that are in the game. Your Corvettes, your Stingrays, Camaros. Somewhere... I missed the Dutch boy, didn't I? All right, right here. So I can just right click on it, open the file path. Alright, so there it is. I can close I back up out of that one, I guess. Alright, so here is my Dutch boys. Some of them, as you can see, don't include this LB or MS at the end. If you add one of these and you're going to end up with one of those placeholder cars. So, jump right to the where you see the LB. And just copy that section all the way over to the 1969. Set copy. Now I got to bring up. I have a template already made. I would think you guys might already by now, but if you don't, the next time you're getting any kind of rewards, whether you win them for showdown or whatever, it'll give you something to that you can copy this template out of, and uh, then you can always just change it around as you want. So. I'm going to put this right in here. And let's say I want the MS1 as well. 
I need the one with yep there we go either one of those would have worked actually but copy right down one more Gotta get that nine in there copy and then I will paint it into here looks like I already uh, no that was the old one and as you can see it didn't contain the MS or the LB so I would have had a placeholder car there anyway just make sure when you're looking through the files because there can be so many of them you, know, you just want to make sure you're copying the correct one all right so we'll get rid of that and now uh, you guys already know probably from watching the support video or support gifts you know what I need to do from here so before I even bother to kick it to that notch what we will do is discuss how you find out libraries car uh, color paint codes caliper codes all that stuff so it involves still using your ASTC data but it's not as simple as the way we just did it here you actually need to view these ASTC files using an ASTC viewer now there's a couple out there that, or there's a few out there I'm sure but the couple that I have I haven't figured out which one I like better is Noesis and Asset Studio if it helps to remember easier Asset Studio for viewing asset files you know then go for that one so we'll get this program loaded up here and I'm going to tell it to load a folder now I have that in my original so I'll follow it right down to the ASTC I wanted to load this entire folder and I will warn you I mean we're talking over three gigs of data here so it is going to take a little bit I will probably pause the video here as you can see it's starting to load in uh, there's the bar so I'll come back to you guys in a second once this is loaded up and save yourself all that time so here we are we're finishing up just get done loading them now of course reading them to put them into a list view this uh, doesn't take as long as the initial loading of the files still takes long enough though huh Yeah, the loading of the files initially, that's why I paused, is probably a good two to three times as long as this. Now, of course, that can depend uh, on what you're using. For a computer, it could be slower, or it could be faster. Alright, now I know you're looking at that like, what the hell? Well, we're going to click over on this asset list tab. And then, here's all of the asset files that make up your cars. But the reason why we're in here, we're looking for libraries. What? Is it going to finish it for me? No. I guess it's paused at the moment. There we go. Alright, so in here, all your libraries, these are where you get your codes. So for your caliper, you know, zero is for this, but for whatever reason, saying five is also the global black. As you continue down, one is global blue, two global gray, three global red, four global silver, and then it skips six, I mean five because it's up there. So six to global orange and so on. Now you can you know copy this information out paste it somewhere so you don't have to go through this every time there's even more you can 
break it all the way down to where you actually you know put it in an excel file the choice is yours really on how you want to do it this doesn't you know seem like maybe it's a heck of a lot you know but when you start getting into your uh, paints as you can see this bar got really small <laughs> so there is a lot of different paint codes and a lot of this information you really don't need anyway so you can filter that out but still it gives you your you know ID number 270 you know, for the different and tells you our buff that you got your wraps your libraries your license plates you know, all of this stuff that you can pull out of here and use when you start customizing your car with NSB editing. Now these numbers also still work for you if you're customizing your car through Game Guardian. Uh, so having this list of information is pretty handy anyway. So however you want to extract it out of there, you know whether you right click paste, you know, extract it out through a, an option in the you know, up here export. You know, it's up to you. But either way, this is good information that you'll need for customizing your car. So, get rid of that. I don't need this folder here, so take care of that. While that's going on, I will now pull my latest files from the game. Yeah, I don't have to load it first because I just had it running before this video. As you already know, unless you're doing resources, you don't need your SCB. You can just deal with the NSB and your long file or ID file. So we'll run it through the packer. And edit with Notepad++. Now to get right to it, P-I-C-L is, or pickle as I call it. That's where you jump right to where your um, support gifts or any of the rewards in your inbox you know, is going to be. In this case what you're already seeing here and it's not always here but you know, we have news feeds currently telling us to claim the car for free so we can get started in the race across America event. So I really prefer not to mess with these things too much. I have actually tried deleting them out of there just because I'm tired of seeing it in my inbox, you know, but it will put it back in or it will cause either a sink or something because it's supposed to be there for now until it runs its course right there. So now if you want to try to shorten up your course play or anything like that, feel free. But in this video, all we're caring about is getting these two Dutch boys. So again, using my template here, I always like to copy right from behind this bracket because that way it'll include the space for you or the uh, space down. Now, otherwise, I would have to hit here, you know, enter down a line and then copy, whatever. So if I just copy right from that bracket, it takes care of that for me. And we'll do the same with the rewards or the play into BMs, whatever, play in bitums however you want to pronounce that so I need to keep a comma in there because as you can see there's supposed to be a comma in between so I will copy right down to the back side of that comma again I'm going to start from inside the bracket and paste there's the stuff so now I'm done with that there's nothing else I need to do in here right now so I can JS minute get it out of there now I want to hash my files. Alright, and it's something that I've discovered too. You really don't need to double click on this line to go into it and pop open this window. I mean, you can still do that if you want. But if you just simply right click on it, there's your copy CRC32 number right there. Alright, that's done. Save. Get rid of that. It's time to repack the files. Pressing number two. All right. Let's move over to my finished 
And again, any of my other videos you've watched, you know I always start here. Because I want to make sure I don't have to launch the game first to get this number to change. Should it happen to already be matching this number. In this case, it doesn't, so copy it right over. Copy my NSB over. Launch the game. Well, that's going on. I might as well take a moment. I'm not going to need these files anymore. So, I mean, even if I did for some reason mess something up, whether I added an extra character or whatever, I find it better to just let the game sync and then pull fresh files. It's pretty much a sure shot each time if you do it that way. Unless you are continuously messing up whatever edit, then no amount of getting fresh files is going to help with that. But if you're pretty sure of your work, you know, anyway, you, you don't have to redo those files. I just think it's a bad habit to get into. The better habit, fresh files. Alright, we're in the game now. Let's go check out my rewards. There we go. Both Dutch boys. The LS and whatever the other are. LB and the MS. So and That's all there is to it. That's how you get your uh, car information, the car names. Because, you know, we'd all wish they would just be as easy as they're written in the game. But... That's not always the case, and now you know how to get there and grab them. Also, make use of the uh, libraries, you know, for customizing your car. Maybe you want to add a library from one car to another. You know, it's it's kind of what makes the game a lot of fun, really. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, the game is fun to play and race, but when you get modding it, and it just it opens up a whole new life to the game, so or brings a whole new life to the game. However, I'm gonna say it, but Alright guys, I'm glad I could uh, throw this together for you. I know I've got a request out there to perform another unbanned video, or cloning video if you would. Uh, this time I'm actually going to have to do some eliting of my cars, because that was the one thing I was lacking to be able to show, and some people are getting hung up on the secure car data, so uh, I want to be able to cover that and go from there. So, Alright, everybody have fun. Always, you know, hack mod responsibly OG outcast out oh.